In a recent release from Will City, they have enabled the function so you can create a custom category page using just a couple of different elements. And we're gonna show you how to do that in this video. First, we're gonna to navigate to Pages, Add New. We're going to name the page whatever we want it to be named. I'm just gonna name this Business Category, Business Categories. On the right-hand side, you're going to go to Page Attributes, and you're gonna choose the, instead of Default Template, you're gonna choose the Will City Taxonomy Template. And we're gonna click Publish. Now let's edit this page just a little bit. We're gonna go edit with Elementor because that's the one we're using. You can use King Composer or whichever, whichever you like to use. And from here, we're going to use what's called the grid element. And I just wanna use this because I wanna show a grid of uh, what's on there so that we can just have it um, look pretty proper and things like that. So we have our section right here. Let's just go to grid and we're going to click and drag this grid element into here. And then that's basically all we really have to do in order to enable this. We have this element here and all we have to do is click update. We're going to exit to the dashboard. We're going to navigate over to appearance theme options. From there, we're gonna go under Customize Taxonomies, Listing Taxonomy Page Style from Default to I Created It Myself. And now you can choose whichever ones you want for these. I made the category page, it's going to be Business Categories, and click Save Changes. We're gonna navigate over to some of the categories that we have, Listing Categories here. And we're going to make sure that we have a few things. Go underneath of one of your categories. Make sure it has a title. You can add a description, it's gonna show up on the front end. And a tagline will show up on the front end. Make sure you also have an image set right here. If you don't have an image set, make sure that you have a default image set in underneath of your theme options. Now, we're gonna go back to the listing categories. And we're going to view this category. There we go, we have the latest listings that we showed before. We have the title right here, and we have that background image that we chose. We can, of course, update this to be whatever we want it to be. We can add as much content on here as we want. We can put um, basically anything that we can think of on this page, because you're building it with a page builder. The only thing that's controlled by the theme is this top section up here. And even then, you can even right click on here, inspect it, you can see the different heading titles and things of that nature, and you can edit all of that information using some simple CSS. So we have all of that. So let's go ahead and make a change to this. We're gonna leave that page there. We're gonna to navigate to pages. Then we have the business categories. I'm gonna edit this with my page builder once again. And we're gonna add a few things to this page. We're gonna add some more headings, maybe add just a little bit more content. All right, from here, we've got the latest listings. We can change this to be whatever we want. More businesses and more businesses there. And then we can do whatever we need to change. So if we want to add um, another heading below or a, an image or text editor or whatever we need to add, we can add all of that information there. Let's save this and we're going to go and refresh this page more business. So we have all of the changes right here and they update live right on the site. This is a great way to customize the taxonomy pages that you have. So you can see my URL is, this is the ending of my URL right here, the member cat administrative. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments below and we will see you next time.